Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about when expression in Kotlin programming language. When expression is similar to switch case statements in other programming language like C. So how it works? So here we have a value x2. In the when expression, if it matches one of the value, then that particular block will be considered and executed. So here in this case, it matches 2, then this block will be considered. Let's see more examples. Before explaining the when expression, I would like to see a simple if-else condition. For example, I have created a variable called character, and it has a character, and I'm checking if character is in, in the range of a to z, because the dot dot operator meaning its range. If it's in the range of a to z, then this statement will be printed. When I run this program, I'm able to see a is an alpha word. This is a simple if-else condition, so we can use when also. This is a very simple if-else condition. We can also use when expression in this case. We can replace the if-else condition using when expression like this. For example, I created a character variable. Then when character is in the range of A to Z, this is the range operator, then print the statement. Else print the character is not an alphabet. We exactly replaced an if-else condition using when expression here. When I run this program, I'm able to see the result A is an alphabet. I would like to give you an example for when expression with multiple values. For example, there is a variable called x equal to 2. Then if it matches one of these values, it will enter that particular block of code. Otherwise, it will go to the else block. In this case, x value is 2. Then it will scan. It matches this 2 value. That means it will enter this block of code and it will print. When I run this program, I'm able to see x equal to 2. So it matches 2 and it printed this. Let's see another example for when expression with range operators. In this case, we are going to have a value for x is equal to 2. I'm going to check whether it is in the range of 1 to 10. So when 2 is in range of 1 to 10, then print this statement. If you see, the readability is really nice. And the next part is when 2 is not in the range of 10 to 20, then print the statement. Again, the readability has increased. If none of the condition matches, then go to the else block and print the statement. When I run this program, I'm able to see it says x is in the range. That means 2 is in the range of 1 to 10. So this statement has been printed. From Kotlin 1.3 version, we can capture the result of the when expression to a variable which looks like a nice feature. So please try out all these small examples. Hope this information is useful. Thank you.